Errors are only half the story. Left untreated, performance problems can affect whether users abandon your site. We help you see which latency issues actually matter, solve them quickly, and with a better understanding of your application, you can improve performance, stability, and customer satisfaction. We're going to show you how to use Sentry to quickly see and solve the most critical performance issues. Here I'm working on this React project, and I want to address some poor performance problems. Let's navigate to performance in the left menu bar. I've customized this page to show user misery, transactions, throughput, and failure rate. As you can see, you can also do this in the different tabs in front end, back end, mobile, etc. Let's take a look at these transactions that are causing the most pain for your users. To do this, we'll walk through throughput, we'll walk through the transaction time, the number of users impacted, as well as user misery. It's also important to factor in which transactions affect conversion, signups, purchases for your app. Let's start by filtering the transaction table by the longest transaction. And we'll take a look at the number of users impacted and the throughput. Here you can see that there's this one transaction that's taking over 9.6 seconds. It's affecting 73,000 users and the user misery is also terrible. It seems like there's something slowing down the products page of our store. We can double click on that transaction and take a look. Here we are in the transaction summary page. None of these transactions flag any immediate issues. So I'm gonna drill into one of the events to look more closely. Typically I look for an outlier, but it seems that most of these transactions have a similar pattern. If I can find the issues in this one event, it might solve all of these slower transactions. Now I'm in the event details for this transaction. In the mini map above, we can see there's this one span that's taking the most time in the transaction. A mini map is just really a zoomed out view of the transaction broken up into spans. Um, so what we're gonna do is zoom in on this one span to get a better view in the waterfall table below. And we do this by just highlighting that span to see what's going on in trace view. It looks like there's this one HTTP request that's happening in the back end that is calling an API or something to get information to load on the page. Using distributed tracing, we're able to capture all the information throughout the platform, including the Flask backend, so you can see the whole trace from beginning to end. By going directly to this transaction, we can see uh, what's going on. And it looks like there's this database query from the get products review function that is taking a really long time here. So now I know where the latency issue originates. It's doing something odd and I can go and study this in the code. Basically, in a few minutes, I've gone from identifying which transactions to target, tracing the cause of this front-end problem back to a back-end call, and understanding where the performance issues originated. It only takes five lines of code to install Sentry. Try it for free to root out any errors and performance issues.